Folks, we are less than a hundred days away from 2025. Lots of you will be thinking about New Year's resolutions, plans, and goals for 2025 in late December or early January. But here's the deal, folks. The best of the best are thinking about 2025 right now because, because Q4 is over. Whatever you have done already will produce what is going to produce in Q4. Now is the time to set mission and plan for 2025. So we're going to talk with the one and only Adrian Hernandez about 2025. What's going on, man? What an exciting time right now, guys. It's October 9th. We have a good amount of runway to finish the year strong. But most importantly, we have the best runway to set up 2025, right? I don't want us to wait until December to create all these goals, right? I would love for everybody to start to create goals in October. A good, good mentor and friend of mine, Gino Bafari, just sent out a newsletter. I'll actually forward it, forward it to you, Zuber, on the importance of setting goals in October, right? The importance of setting those goals and making them start, start to getting into the motion in October, November, so it becomes a habit by January, right? So- uh, I want to chat, you know, for us, we're looking at our calendar, right? Uh, we're planning our vacations next year. We're looking at how much income we want to produce next year. We're looking at the amount of deals we need to do every month. I, I just want to stop you right there. I, I think you said yeah. something there. I want to verify because I think it's important. Yeah. When you're, it's October of 2024, you're thinking about 2025. So one of the first things you do is you pull out a calendar, either virtually or in, yeah. in person. Yeah, actually, this, this is cool. I literally was just doing it. Nice. Yeah, this is... um. What's his name? He has this thing called the big calendar. I forget who yeah, does that. Yeah, Jesse Itzler. Itzler. Itzler does it. Yeah. I think it's a great idea. You put it on the wall. It's massive. It's like four feet by four feet, but you could do it in a book as well. So it sounds like the first thing you do is sit down with the wife because it always starts at home and say, honey, when do you want to go somewhere? Where do you want to go? Let's block those first. Did I hear that right? That is correct. That is so awesome. Start yeah. at home. I love Start that. at home. And and here's the big reason why. Well, number one, I want to, you know, with you was important, right? The plane's going down. What do you do? You put the gas mask, or you know, you put put it on your oxygen, stuff, right? Oxygen. Same thing here. Yeah, the oxygen. When I say gas, you put the gas <laughs> no, mask on. That'd be bad. <laughs> <laughs> put the oxygen on, right? Sorry. Um, the the point is, is that, and you know who taught me this is Alex Slayer. He's like, dude, plan your plan the vacations first, because what you'll notice is like my when I go to tell her the goals that I have to do for business, what the work is involved for business, yeah. she's able to see. Okay, hey, he's get, but we have a vacation here. There's a vacation here. She, it, it's, it's like a um, and everything sprint. builds around that, right? Right, yeah. right, right, yeah. and now I'm not like. Now she's not like, what about us, right? What about our family? Why does the business have to come first? Starts with her. I love that. And I'm just curious, when you look at your calendar, which is 12 months, just like everybody else, do you do kind of little three-day weekends or are you only planning the 10-day trips? Or what, 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 is, what does this look like when you have that conversation? Yeah, so the first thing is the big trips, right? Okay. It's like, the hey, big what trips are the defined as seven like days, 10 days? Yeah, yeah, seven days. Like we're planning Bora Bora, right? So oh, we're planning nice. Bora Bora. Uh, we're sure. planning Paris at the end of the year, right? So there are two big vacation. It's like, okay. And mm -hmm. and every year is different, right? We understand sure. we're not going to completely go overboard on spending for vacation. So it's like, hey, if we're going to do big trips, then maybe the maybe the weekends are minimal, right? Or, Got hey, it. we're going to do more weekends and it's only one big trip. Like last Got year it. was only one big trip, right? I like it. Okay. Uh, and that depends on the the season of the year too. Right. If we're in winter where it's like, hey, this is grind time, it's like, hey, we'll have more weekends than we will big vacations. Right. Because right now that's just not that time. Right. Got it. Um, so we also go off of the seasons. I like it. I like it. So it starts at home. You get those down. And then then do you go to your business partner and you start planning out the business and, and figuring out, you know, how much, how fast, how big, you know, those kinds of things. Where does it go next? Yeah. So after family, then I do personal, right? What are oh, the personal, personal okay. like, what are the personal things that I, that I have going on? Right. Rather, Give me an like example I, of one. Well, I got Michael Zuber's event, right. In February. Oh, so that's go. on oh, the calendar. Other commitments. Right? I like it. Yes. <laughs> the, the, the commitments I have, right. Are, are there any speaking engagements? Are there any events that I absolutely have to go to? The Tony got Robbins it. events are in the calendar, right? So all of my like coaching it. events, that's the second thing I do. And I count those as like me, right. Cause that is me. Like I, when I go to the events, that's, that's my time, right. Is the way yep. I see that. I love that. That makes perfect sense. Okay. So you're blocking, you're blocking out family commitments, 
personal commitments, speaking engagements, all that. It, it's okay. Then what? Learning coaching. Then right after that, then I don't sit my sit with my business partner last. The first thing I do is I look at the business, all the businesses as a whole, and then just start chucking them down. What did we do last year? Right. Mm -hmm. And what is feasible that we can do this year? Right. Can we really grow by a hundred percent? I don't know. Let's look at our marketing, right? Um, I, one company I was looking at, I'm like, there's no way we can grow by a hundred percent there. Unless I decide to inject a, a million dollars of marketing, there's no way. Okay. Then we're going to grow by 10, 15%. Let's just have a little boost this year. There's nothing, there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. Right. Right. So it's, then it's, I, the, then the, I, the only thing, the only thing happens wrong with that is if you plan for a hundred, get 15 because your expenses are bananas. Exactly. Yeah, right. Yeah, don't and, do that. And, and that took some time too, guys. Like one thing that I don't want you to beat yourself up on when I was first setting goals, I was just setting goals to set them. And there's nothing wrong with that. Right. But then as your business starts to evolve, you become a little bit methodical after looking at all your numbers. Um, so just understand that process. Right. So, and then I go through that. Then I set up the monthly, what, what do we want to do for the year in revenue? Then I backdoor it to deals, right. Mm -hmm. Based on our average fee. And then the deals I break down into months, I break down into weeks, I break down into days. And then we go to my business partner and Hey, look at, this is my idea. He gives me his idea. We blend them together and we create a business plan for 2025. Yeah. That, that's, and, and that will take you all in what? 20 hours kind of start to finish over multiple yeah. days. Yeah. If that, yeah. And yeah. then you, and then you, the thing I love about you is not only you do that, but then that data, does that go on a wall? Does that go somewhere? Because again, yeah. I know you, you track this, right? Cause it's, right. it's, it's written. So I'm sending all of my friends the Jesse Itzler calendar for, for Christmas. So I, I have that. a big Jesse Itzler calendar on my wall in my office. And that's what it is. It's all written on there. The stuff that is in permanent marker, we cannot take off the calendar. It's set in stone. Oh, like a vacation. I love that. Permanent uh -huh. marker cannot be removed. Anything on a sticky is flexible, right? So like we'll put things on sticky and it's like, she knows that it's flexible. It may not happen. I may, it may, it all depends on is Caden, you know, being a monster today or not. Right. Right. Yeah. Sometimes you just need a break. <laughs> right. He's two. It's normal. He's two. It's, normal. Yeah, it's, it's all good. Yeah. Two. There, no, I love that. I love that. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I really love the idea of, of doing the work with your significant others, doing yourself the business, and then putting it visual. That's why I think Jared was Itzler's big calendar is such a great move because you just could put it on a wall. And I do love the idea. I never thought of this permanent marker versus stickies. I think that's genius. Like these aren't moving. Right. I think that's genius. Non-negotiables, right? And that's like date night. That's like the vacation with you and your wife, right? Like that's not moving from the calendar. And you as a business owner, you got to plan for that, right? You 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 got you got to plan for that. You got to look at that, let your team know about that and hold yourself accountable because you would be the first one that's like, oh, well, hey, I got this event that came up. No, it's in permanent marker. I don't give a shit about the event. No, yeah. You have known, you have known. February 15th and 16th are off, off the docket for six months. What are you doing? Exactly. The answer is We no. talked about yeah. this October of 2024. What, what do you mean? Yeah. yeah, sorry. I'm not changing. See, permanent marker. I love Clear and concise. Now, where does this live? Do you keep it in the office? Do you keep it at home? Because I keep it at home. Um, okay. So it's funny that you bring this up because I, I was actually thinking about getting two and putting one in my office and one at home because there's times I'm in the office and I'm like, shoot, what do I have going on? Right. And I have to ask my wife, Hey, can you send me a picture of the calendar? <laughs> can you, uh, right. Yeah. I think, I think again, for me, it, it's, I'll just put it in my studio, right. Right on that wall right there. So I'm, I think I'm going to get that calendar too. It's, it's pretty powerful. Oh, um, don't order it. I'm sending you, I'm sending all my friends. Uh, oh, cool. We're already in the I, works. Yeah. I appreciate it. I think that's a great idea. Um, it's funny, but my, my year used to be a lot like that. Where Olivia and I, because again, I, I had a career job. I could put down quarter. In, like for me, a, every quarter end was a non-negotiable. Every first two weeks was QBR, quarter of the business. Like my week was very, or my year was pretty structured around a fiscal year and fiscal quarters. And then of course we had birthdays and trips and all of that out there. Now I will admit it's a lot less structured, um, good or bad. Uh, because again, we 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 make choices at a drop of a hat like this iceland trip came up literally in two weeks I'm like oh you want to go to iceland there's a sale let's, let's go there uh so i would say in in broad strokes we like to do two big trips a year you know big trips for us being 10 days or more uh we like to do uh, we like to get on the east coast at least once it's where our daughter is um we'll do uh one of the things that we are doing now is we're buying a pass on alaska airlines hmm. um 
uh, twelve month or yeah, twelve twelve round trip tickets. One basically one trip a month because we go back and forth between San Francisco and Vegas, so right. that's going to make those cheaper. Because again, I I have to be in Vegas six and a half months a year, right? Uh, for taxes. Um, so yeah, we're we're doing that. We're we're just buying those those. Uh, I think it's called a pass. The one thing I will tell you, I did. 2024 that I will do in 2025 that I'm already thinking about to your point of doing this in October is I want to do something hard every year. I thought 2023 was a complete failure year because I was just, I didn't do anything hard. I didn't challenge myself. Mm. Mm, so this so year good. I'm doing this year, I said in January, I'm running a marathon, which I have never run more than a half marathon before. So that was hard. So I've been practicing. I'm ramping up the marathons in less than a month. It's on November 3rd, I think, or maybe 6th, something like the 6th. Yeah, the, whatever that Sunday is. So I've now run 15, 16, 18 miles. Um, now, right now? Mode. No, I have, right? So I've run further. Oh, oh, okay, okay. And um, yeah, so that's the thing I'm going to accomplish in November. So I'm already starting to think about what my hard thing's going to be for 2025. I'll share that with everybody in January, but I'm already thinking about that now because I don't know what it is about my mental makeup, but I have to feel like I accomplished something hard. 2023 by lots of stance was an amazing year, but it was just blah, right? There was nothing like I could point at 2023 and say that was unique or different. So, so I will always be, now it doesn't always have to be physical, right? It 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 could be. I mean, I'm not that this will be it, but it could be write another book. It because that's hard for me. It could right. be, you know, whatever. Right. It's, but I will definitely take on a hard challenge because again, I'm not trying to grow crazy. I'm I'm okay doing one deal a year. I'm okay doing no deals a year, right. um, because I've already fixed that part of the equation. Um, but I. I just have to feel like I'm accomplishing things. And I like, I like to declare it. I like to put it out loud. I like my audience to hold me accountable. I like to know people will be disappointed if I don't do it. I love that mm. community sharing. Like if right. I run this marathon and I bounce out at 16 miles for injury or whatever, I expect my audience to go, you didn't do it. Got to try that again. Right. I like to be held accountable. Right. I love that. I wrote it down. And, and as you were talking, I'm like coming up with ideas myself. I didn't, that's huge, right? What's, what is the hard thing that I'm going to do? And I got that from Itzler. Life? Itzler does that, right? Dude, it's it, so it's, good. You're right. I just saw a video. You're right. I, I think I just saw that same video. Yeah. Wow, that's he, good. He, he, I, I, I think you've got to, and it's, it's, I really see something. Cause again, I chose a marathon, never done it. I bought the ticket or admission in January. I'm like, you're committed now, sucker. Get some right. running shoes. And then, oh, by the way, you run a lot. You realize your feet hurt. So you got to get different running shoes. And like, it's a whole build up to this eventual day. So it's, um, I think there's something in that. You've got to, you've got to push the body. You got to push the mind. For sure. Um, yeah. At least I And do. challenge some of you that have like had a goal of not drinking. I did in 2009, uh, well, whenever COVID hit 2020, I did uh, 12 months, no drinking, changed my life changed yeah. my life guys like Try that. and it was hard like well i want to say three months in it was hard and then after like 90 days you just you get used to it yeah you get used to it so i love that so i would so tell good. you think about that think about something hard and put it in permanent marker i love um, that there you go there you go well again One folks thing. the best of the best think about 2025 early go ahead so good sorry did i mean to cut you off one thing that we do do also is we give uh, and Tony yeah, Tony Robbins taught us this: give your year a theme. Mm. Like, what's going to be the theme of 2025 for you? So, like for 2024 for us, and we created it as a family was the theme of attitude, like oh. creating a better attitude, having a better attitude when negative things come up. Right? We were right in the middle of a newborn. We noticed that our attitude was just shit. Right? We're planning 2024, and we're like, you know what? This year's the attitude year, right? Like no, we're we're like gonna that. work on our attitude, right? Um, I, I love you brought that up. Yeah. Anna Kelly talked about this a year or two ago. Her thing was joy, joy. I mean, just think, just I don't know what it is about that word joy. Just puts a smile on my face saying it. Three yeah. little letters. I I can't say joy and not smile. Get right. a warm feeling. Um, I just I, like I just that. love that idea of, of of having that. I'm gonna think about that. 
Um, yeah, I think that's again, folks, the best of the best. Don't think about 2025 in January. They don't think about them at the end of December. They're starting it in October. What are you going to do? You know what, folks? Leave in the comments below. What is something hard you want to try in 2025? And then second, what is the theme for you and your family in 2025? I want to hear what my audience has to say about this. Let's get some audience participation. Adrian, where can people find you? I love it, guys. I'm gonna I'm gonna comment to your uh, to your comments below. So then I'm gonna nice. put mine in there. So I'm looking forward to it. You guys catch me on Instagram at Adrian Hernandez. Plan for 2025. Remember, if you do not plan, you will fail. Yeah, if you don't plan, you plan to fail. It's just that simple. I was thinking right, about buddy. the quote, and the quote like yeah. left my mind, so I just said. The click it was, it was a nice recovery. <laughs> I knew where you were going, and then it's just a we went. <laughs> You're amazing, man. Adrian Hernandez on Instagram. Give him a follow. You're the best. Let's have fun, guys. Let's go.